Because the Rocketeer class is my all-time favorite in Critical Strike, I feel that this underused class deserves a whole lot of recognition. And so today, I am going to be teaching you how to use the Rocketeer class in Critical Strike Roblox. Let's get right into it. Hello and welcome. By this point, I would not be surprised if every single person watching this video knows that the Rocketeer is my favorite class and the entire game of Critical Strike. Not only that, but the Rocketeer is actually a really good class, but nobody seems to know how to properly use it. And so today, I'm going to be teaching you how to play the Rocketeer class. In this video, we'll start by simply talking about the Rocketeer and going over its stats. After that, we'll move on to each move, and within each move, we will discuss some ways to best use that move. I can't believe I just said move four times. Absolutely ridiculous. Anyways, after that, we'll talk about combos. Then, we'll sum up the Rocketeer, and finally, the video will end. So let's go ahead and start with a basic overview of the Rocketeer class. As you can see on screen, the Rocketeer has 100 health, a max damage of 35, a speed of 30, and the Marksman roll. Now, you traditionally don't see 100 health with any Marksman class, but as we'll come to find later on in the video, Rocketeer definitely needs every single bit of HP it can get its fiery little hands on. Of course, the specs of Rocketeer are not the only important thing we see here. There's also Rocketeer's playstyle, which includes range, mobility, area control, and aerial combat. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Rocketeer's moveset, starting with the LMB. The Rocketeer's LMB, called Rocket Launcher, very creative name, shoots out a rocket that deals between 5 and 15 damage based on where it lands, 15 damage being a direct hit, while 5 damage is exploding near an opponent. It also deals a similar amount of knockback as Mage's Q move. Speaking of Q moves, the Rocketeers, called Jetpack Headbutt, makes the Rocketeer charge up for a short time and then dash forward, dealing up to 20 damage to an opponent and lighting Rocketeer's oil. It appears to cast 5 damage orbs, wherein oil is ignited and opponents are damaged. The Rocketeer's E move, called Oil Slick, shoots out five oil spills that land on the ground and can be ignited with any of Rocketeer's other moves. Enemies who walk on non-burning oil receive the oil status effect, which means that any Rocketeer projectile, L and B or F, gives them one stack of burn each. Burning oil itself gives one stack of burn when an opponent walks on it. And now, for Rocketeer's final slash ultimate move, we have F which is called Blast Off. This move causes Rocketeer to fly into the air for three whole seconds. During that time, it will fire 10 missiles that do between 5 and 10 damage. On a direct hit, a missile will do 10 damage and give a little bit of knockback. This move can also ignite oil. Okay, so now we have taken a look not only at Rocketeer's moveset, but also its basic statistics. By now, you should have a fairly decent feel for how the class operates. Of course, this would not be a Critical Strike class guide without some tips and tricks. And most of these do come from the Rocketeer official page on the Critical Strike wiki, which you can find on the top right of your screen, as well as in the description down below. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at some of these tips. Tip number one is actually a one that I wrote for the wiki page, and it states the following. Rocketeer is a vulnerable class, but it is extremely good at standing its own ground. When possible, do not run from an opponent. Instead, take advantage of Rocketeer's E and F moves to keep opponents away. Q will be useful to light the oil, creating a barrier, while F and L and B can deal steady damage and do knockback. Tip number two is to take advantage of all of your moves in the most efficient way possible. For example, Try to only use Rocketeer's F after you have placed oil on the ground. 
That way, you not only ignite the oil, but also have a chance to ignite your opponent if they have the oil status effect. And now for tip number three, which is to use oil as a barrier. This is actually a strategy that I use quite often, and it helps me space opponents away so that I can continually do damage to them. And since we are on the topic of oil, here's tip number four, which is to always keep oil on the ground. This will be better explained when we talk about Rocketeer's combos, but the oil will keep opponents away and allow you to do damage from afar. And the oil theme continues with tip number five, which is to exploit the amount of burn you can get with the oil. Splash some oil and give your opponent the oil status effect, and then use a combination of the LMB and or F moves to instigate a humongous amount of burn, as long as your aim is true. Speaking of aiming, tip number six. To aim the LMB and F moves better, predict where your opponent will be so that your rockets actually land somewhere. This takes a ton of practice though, and it's made far worse by the fact that Rocketeer's LMB has a pretty small hitbox and is one of the slowest projectiles in the entire game. So now let's talk about tip number seven and that is to use Rocketeer on a flat, open space. Great examples of this include Final Strike Plates, the middle of most maps, and, if you can place your oil properly, hallways and maps. And for the final Rocketeer tip that I am going to give you today, tip number eight is to use the Q-move when jumping from the void. This gives you way more range and can be useful if you're trying to run from someone. So now that we've discussed most of what there is to know about Rocketeer, let's take a look at some of my favorite combos. Combo number one. I call this one Fire from the Skies because this combo does exactly as the name entails and rains fire from the skies. To perform this combo, all you need to do is place oil on the ground and fly into the air, landing as many rockets onto an opponent as possible, giving them, on average, five burn stacks depending on how many rockets land. The combo itself is E plus F and will do between 5 and 25 damage on average. And now for combo number two, Wall of Fire. If there's any combo that you must memorize with Rocketeer, it's definitely this one. Wall of Fire is exactly what the name implies, a wall of fire. Simply place oil on the ground and light it with Q. Because of the way Rocketeer's timings are set up, the E and Q moves will refresh at the same exact time. What makes this combo so good is that it accomplishes two things at once. The first is, of course, the wall of fire itself. This fire will keep opponents away and allow you to do damage from further away, which is what Rocketeer was designed for in the first place. The second accomplishment with this combo is that the Q-dash can do between 10 and 20 damage, so after a little while, that damage will take a toll on opponents. The combo itself is as follows, E plus Q. So now that we've taken a look at the two most basic combos with Rocketeer, let's take a look at a few more advanced combos. Now, to be honest, even though I have nearly 800 wins with the Rocketeer, I still don't know but two advanced combos. Advanced combo number one is E plus Q plus F. This will spawn oil, make you dash, and then fly in the air to take advantage of your bedazzled opponent. The other advanced combo is essentially the reverse, E plus F plus Q. This combo is a bit more dangerous considering that your timings will be slightly off, but when an opponent has the oil status effect, Rocketeer's F move can be incredibly destructive and do lots of damage to them. And now we are done. We've gone over every tip, combo, move, and detail that can fit within a reasonably short and simple Rocketeer guide. Overall, the Rocketeer class is definitely one that you don't want to overlook. The insane amount of burn and area damage alone are excellent reasons to use Rocketeer. 
Of course, I do have well over 700 and nearing 800 wins with the Rocketeer, so I might be just a little bit biased. Anyways, that is all for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to use code CHOTUS at RedDragonShop.com for 5% off your next order of high-quality gaming gear. Have a great day!